This is a 2000 GMC Yukon. The fuel pump went out on it. Be sure it's your fuel pump before you do or attempt what I'm about to do. The fuel pump is located on the driver's side. Back seat. You take your seat and you fold it up. You do not have to remove it. On your carpet, you will find that there's a center fold uh, that comes from the opposite side of the way across. So therefore, with your razor, you just have to cut here and here. So when you fold half of it back, you have access to the fuel pump after cutting it, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this down. So carpet cutter, carpet cutter, and we're good. Wear gloves, because running in and out of the bathroom, that's a setback breathe and the oil that gets in there hurts I found that my fuel pump was located with this little chalk line here that you could see and what I did is I got a measuring tape so from the plastic I put the metal there ran it all the way across so my first cut is here looks like nine and a half and my other one comes down to 18 it looks like 18 inches now it doesn't matter I mean, if it's an inch up or an inch down, I found on the long cut. And I kind of use maybe this bar and go straight across to the next one. Because there's really nothing there, as you will see after I open it. If you're a little unsure of yourself, I've created a circle here to open, bend up and look in. The tools I used first was my Makita drill. I used some kind of little hole cutter. The drill bit wouldn't allow the drill bit to sink too deep. You don't never want to shove a drill through because it'll puncture something and you'll really be jacked. So I started off. I drilled a hole. I didn't go all the way through, but just enough where I could bend it and look inside with the light. I saw the fuel pump and that's how I got my circle, my measurement. I just had to make sure of where it was located. Then I got a grinder here this grinder here and what I did is before I I did anything I sprayed a whole lot of WD-40 around to minimize the sparks I don't know why it really didn't work too much but it was okay now before you do this open the doors of your vehicle all the way around it'll smoke out your vehicle as you grind so open your doors up and uh, wear glasses so I got my grinder and I grind it this way from back to front, which is back of the vehicle to the front of the vehicle, from driver's side to passenger side, and from the front of the vehicle to the back of the vehicle. Now you'll notice a couple things. There's a bar here, right here, and this butterfly piece went on. I did not have to remove or alter anything there. I just went ahead and moved that. Now. I only cut in the letter C, if you will, to fold it open and able to fold it down. But you will not be able to fold this back if you don't cut notches here and here. So I cut a line and a line so the metal folds up. After I cut it, I realized something. I realized that there was some spot welds, some spot welds on this, which is one, two, three, four. All I did will shove my pry bar underneath. I hit it a few times. Uh, three on this one, four on this one, I don't know, four and maybe five on the back one. Removed my bar. Now, let's have a look. And wow, there it is. The fuel pump. Now, as I, I wanted to see how far this fuel line was actually from the... Uh, from the metal I was cutting to see if I was going to start some kind of fire. But as I put my tape measure down, looks like we got about an inch and a half before the fuel lines. And that fuel pump's really down there. So, it, but, this is where the spot welds was at. Here, here, and here. I didn't drill all the way through. Just enough 
to manipulate the metal so I could pop it up. Now, the good thing about what I did is not removing this plate all the way was that I could fold up and push it back down when I'm done. Use a sheet metal screw, screw in here, here, here. You don't need all of them for, just maybe two or so, and it'll hold it down. Then use some Gorilla Tape or adhesive tape, I don't know. Just anything but duct tape, because that won't stick while well after a while. <coughs> I'm able to flop the fabric back down, the carpet, flip my seat, and I'm pretty much done there. So I hope this video helps you out. This is a 2000 GMC Yukon. I'm not speaking for no other vehicles. See what's relate to this vehicle and measurements, and hopefully this helps you out. Fuel pump, cut thumb. Hopefully positive results.